Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, what are we going to learn today? Excel tips and tricks. My favorite of all are these tricks that not only make you fast and efficient, but can save you a lot of time. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hello everyone, I welcome you all once again. And what we are going to learn today is going to be really helpful. We are going to learn about data cleaning tips and tricks, where I'm going to show you small, small tricks that can save you a lot of time in peculiar situations. So suppose the first example is very common. We want some pattern extraction. Suppose we want the first name only from the entire name. So what I can do is type once the name and then press Ctrl E and this is the shortcut for pattern recognition. One thing that we must remember while using this is that it is not linked to the original data because it is not a formula. So if I change it and then nothing will happen here. So little bit of cautiousness is required. But if you do not change the data, then this can be really time saving. Not only first name, we can also extract. Maybe I want the second name. F-A-U-G-H. F-A-U-G-H-N-Y. And then you see automatically it changes. Okay. So moving to the second trick. Suppose there are some numbers and you want to convert into percentages or there are some numbers you want to convert into lakhs, hundreds, multiply everything. What we can do is very simple. First, we will try for percentage. So simply I have written 1% here and wherever we want to change, Control C, I will select the data and paste a special window, which is Control Alt V and operation. I will simply multiply and done and you can see that instantly everything got converted into a percentage similarly if you have numbers that you want to convert into lakhs multiply into 100 anything what we can do is simply type 1 lakh and control c this time i have to divide it so paste a special window and divide okay and simply we'll do this thing and you can see the numbers got converted into flex. So this can be really helpful when you want to do conversions. The next trick is one of my favorite. When there are blank rows not following any pattern and you want to remove all of them. Suppose we see here in row number 14 there is blank. In row number 20 there is blank. Again 17, 18 there is blank. We want to remove all the data wherever there is any blank row. So what you can do is select the data and there are two ways of doing it. First is simpler one, control G and special and I will here choose blanks. This is the go to special window and here I will choose blanks. So now you can see whenever there is blank, it got selected. So now I can simply remove the rows. If I want to remove them or any other operation, I can do color or anything. All of them got selected. Suppose I will remove the entire row where any of the data is blank. So control minus and entire row. So you will see that all the rows where there were blanks got deleted. The second option is also simple. Again, we will select the data and we will go to home and find and select go to special. Again, the same window opens up. So the shortcut is control G. And if you want to go from the tabs, you can go like this. The function is same we go to blanks and everything will be selected you want to color them or you want to highlight them whatever you want to do everything is possible trick number four finding duplicates from multiple tables suppose these are the invoice paid ross and invoice paid monica but we want to know if both of them have paid some duplicate invoice so what we can do is very simple select this data by holding the control key once again, I will select this data also. You can see both the data are selected. Now it is very simple. We go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rows and duplicate values. And we can color them pink, blue, yellow, whatever we want. Okay. You can see there are many options. So, okay. And within a fraction of a second, every duplicate value is highlighted. You can see INV 161 and this is the INV 161, 101, 101 and so on. Trick number five when there are a lot of clumsy formats suppose you have taken some data from a third party file maybe tally or anywhere 
and you have brought the data into Excel. You can see some are colored, some are bold, some are highlighted, big data, small data, everything is there. Now this is really a headache to clean each and everything. Well, there is a very, very easy shortcut. So again, we will select the entire data and go to home. Okay. And here itself, the clean option is there. You can clear the formats, you can clear the contents, you can clear all. So I will clear the formats and you can see within a fraction of a second, everything that was messy turns into similar formats or you can say you have cleared everything. Now, whatever you want to do, if our data is headers, you can do accordingly. But the cleaning part becomes very, very easy. Trick number six, unstack data. So suppose I have some addresses like this in three parts. Okay. Again, this is the next one where I have the street name, the city name and the state name. Again, I have the street name, city name and the state name, but I want them in single row. Okay. You can see this way. There is a pattern of three, three columns following the pattern. Now what we can do is again, combine multiple things to do the work. What we will do is first choose one street name. Again, in the city, in the second part, we will choose the city and in the third part, we will choose the state. Okay. Now this pattern can be followed till the end of the data. Okay. So data is still here now, but the issue is we wanted them in the same line. Again, we will follow one another function, control G special go to blanks. And this time, what I will do is just move the data. So control minus and shift cell up and OK. And you can see within a fraction of a second, I have got what I wanted. Everything under one single row. Then you can merge them or whatever you want. The next operations will be easy because you have got them as you wanted, not column wise, but row wise. The next trick is enhancement of a previous trick. In the previous trick, I had shown that you can find the duplicates. But what if I want to find a combination of duplicates? Suppose these are the names and the department. If the name and department are exactly matching, which means is duplicate, but a different department can contain the same name. Suppose Andrea Kimpton website and Andrea Kimpton sales are two different, but we can see in bar phony, procurement procurement. So this is what we want to remove. Similarly, Denison Crosswave website website and Denison website say Denison Crosswave sales is different. So we want to remove this. Okay. We want to remove this one instance of them. Okay. Similarly, Gunnar Cockshot with uh, sales sales. So what we can do is really, really simple. We will select the data. Go to data. And here you can see this option remove duplicates. The benefit is that you can choose the duplicates from multiple column. So I will just simply unselect all and select here, which means that it will only remove the duplicates. If both the rows, the data are matching. Okay. We will check for Barfony. There are four instances of Barfony procurement, procurement, sales and website. So we want three instances and one instance of Parfony procurement must be removed. Similarly for others, I will simply press OK and three duplicate values found and removed. OK, so now we will check for Barfony is that procurement sales and website. And similarly for others also, the operation was performed, which means when you have a combination of duplicates, you can remove it conveniently through this option. The next one is also very amazing. Suppose I have given some work to my intern or anyone and they have done multiple colors, green, yellow, red, blue, whatever. Now I have to check only the red ones and then convert them into green. So this is a clumsy task because red is here also, here also, here also. Suppose I have checked and now I want to convert the red into green or red into white, any similar thing. So what we can do is select all okay and we will go to find and replace okay so here normally what people think is find and replace is for words only but once again i would like to bring your focus to the right side of the things where there are a lot of things 
so we can go to formats and choose format or format whichever you like maybe formats and fill and i want the red one okay so now find what is the red color and i want to change into green so again i will go to format and maybe i will change into dark green and okay so find what is red and replace what is green and replace all and you can see we have done seven replacements absolutely amazingly all the red ones got green or if you want to select them and remove them every single thing is possible with find and replace okay so when you want to remove them simply clear find format and clear replace format and this can be amazing number nine extract numbers from text this becomes very very clumsy because we can see that suppose this is rupees 49.08 but at the end 44.29 spent so formulas may give us a clumsy result again we can use the control e pattern recognition how suppose i am writing 31.14 and pressing control e now we can see after putting this there are some errors so what we will do is again train our model 44.92 is what we want and second time when i am writing you can see that it has understood that i don't want the spent part and this can be amazingly useful in peculiar situations the next trick is also very amazing suppose i have this and now i don't want the location suppose d drive g drive and these are the folder name and this is the file name dot txt dot ppt dot docs so i will show you two things here which can be very very helpful first one is that i do not want the location it may be d i c drive h drive any i do not know which is which so in this case how will i find and replace them the answer is very very simple so again we will select the data control star you can select the table and again we will go to find and replace control h now let us understand the pattern before coming here i have told you we can do with this but once let us understand the pattern d hyphen slash d slash g slash i slash g panel similarly there are all slashes okay so what i want is that everything before the slash should be removed very very simple whatever is the input before the slash should be removed but the input is of multiple types so what we can do is use a wildcard simply i will type star and slash and replace it with blank because i just want the file name and you will see as soon as i click on replace all we have done 82 replacement and you can see that all the extra data that we did not want the location slash a slash b slash c whatever it was because we have used a wildcard which indicates that any value before the slash should be removed similarly i will show you suppose the file name content dot txt dot ppt dot ext dot docs everything now what we want that this extension of the file should also be removed okay so again we'll go to control h this time i want to remove anything which is after dot i am not sure whether it's txt ppt whatever it is so i will just reverse this and i will write dot star star is a wild card use and star means anything so after dot whatever it is i don't care i simply want to replace it with a blank and as soon as i click on replace again 20 replacements done and you can see that the extensions got removed so this way find and replace is an amazing thing for data clean now two bonus tricks as always the first one is again very simple suppose you have some clumsy data where there are extra spaces so when you copy them and when you are using vlookup and everything this creates a lot of problem so we can use a formula here very simple equal to trim and this simple and we can just copy down and you can see all the extra values got deleted the benefit of using formula over manual calculation is that now if i just simply change the value location suppose i am giving some gaps between them okay 
and you can see the name is perfectly intact so now you can do paste special values and everything you can perform your operations with the extra space being removed okay the last trick for the day which is the most most common one okay so when we are extracting the data from third party sources again from tally or csv or word or ppt anything sometimes there are numbers but they are stored as text you can see i am trying to find the sum of them and it is only giving me count because the data type is text so this becomes very clumsy because we want to perform numerical operations but it is not allowing us very very simple it is again a combination of the tricks i have shown earlier very simple i will simply press one and now i will perform one operation on this data normally if i type sum and everything this will not work because for excel they are text data but the paste special where option can help us so i pressed one control c i will select the data and control alt v paste special thing so control alt v is the shortcut and here i will perform one operation so that excel comes to know that they are numbers how simply i will multiply one because anything multiplied to one is one only and okay and within a fraction of a second again you have seen now that i want to do the operations you can see i am getting the sum max whatever you want and if and if i try other formulas on it you will see they are perfectly working so this way this type of data which is into text but you want to perform numerical operations because you know they are numbers you can ultimately multiply it by one add to them zero suppose once again i will press control z and you can see that 72 and all these are having no values okay because they are text so what i can do is add zero simple anything added to zero is the number itself again control c choosing the data paste is special this time it's zero so i will add zero and the result is the same now when we have performed the operation forcefully excel has recognized that they are numbers so i hope these tricks are helpful small small data cleaning tricks in the upcoming videos we will show some data cleaning through power query and what is the difference between manual data cleaning formula and power query and how each of them differs and which one to choose when so that's all for this video friends i hope you learned something out of it don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite trick thank you